everyone. Good evening. Good evening. It's Lisa from Crafting and Cruising. Come on in. And when you come in, say hi. Let me know you're here, where you're watching from. And if you're watching the replay, please let me know that. We are coming live from Crafton and Cruising and also Craft Down the Clock. So hopefully, Miss Tracy will be able to share me in there in just a minute. Let me see if I can um, share to some other groups real quick. Hope y'all are having a great day. We thought we were gonna be heading back to Nashville. Well, guess what? We didn't go to Nashville. We came to Miami. Mm -hmm. That's what I said, we came to Miami. So Rodney is actually doing a job right now. He's trying to figure it out. Hey, Deborah Jed, my sister. I'm just trying to get this shared to a couple of more places. Just saw the one I was looking for right there. Okay. So, we ended up coming to Miami. Um, we drove four and a half hours from where we were yesterday. Why does this say low battery mode? Oh, please, y'all. I need to make sure that y'all are... You're not plugged in. That would have been bad. I, put, I remember to put my phone on do not disturb, but I forgot to plug y'all in. So hopefully, now it's plugged in. Let me see if it shows me. I hope. Okay. So, we're going to finish the bottle we started the other day. And here's what we're going to do. So here's the bottle. If you remember the other day, this was a Jim Beam collector's bottle. And it had a deer. It what had a piece of paper here with a, a deer printed, but then underneath here, you can tell it's embossed with a deer. But I used this paper and put on here after I put several coats or layers of um, wadded up, crumpled up tissue paper that I just applied with watered down Mod Podge, okay? I did not turn my camera tonight. So then I came back and put the same paper on the back of the bottle. I put a piece down here, and I put a piece under here, okay? Now, my original thought was that I was going to paint the Harlequins on the side. Hey, Tracy. Hey, sweet friend. So, um, but I've changed my mind. So, I had this paper right here that was a big sheet of like tissue paper. So I've already cut two strips the right width to put on here. And the first thing we're gonna do is just take some of this watered down Mod Podge. Let me, hey Barbara, sweet friend. Let me um, see if I can scooch back a little bit and tilt you over a little bit. Hopefully y'all can see that. Okay, so I'm gonna use this watered down Mod Podge because this tissue paper is so thin. If I put it on with regular Mod Podge, I'm afraid it'll tear. Now, this paper um, is bright white. And y'all know I don't typically like that. So what we're gonna do is once we get this on here, and it dries, which I was hoping Rodney would get back before I started because I, I needed him to bring my dryer in. So, um, that may not happen, but um, what I wanna do after the paper dries is just distress it with my bare antique wax, B-E-H-R, that I get at Home Depot, okay? Hey, Diane, how are you, sister? Okay, so I'm starting right up here at the top and I'm gonna try to lay it. This is not real easy since it's not flat, and I wanna make sure I get it straight before I lay it down. So, I'll turn it toward you in just a moment. I wanna try to get it laid down. See, it's not all the way up here now. 
this is another reason why you don't want to use regular Mod Podge. I cannot wait to get my DIY liquid patina from Mira. I am lost without it, y'all. Her secret sauce, as she calls it. And it is so good. Okay. I think I got that on there pretty well. So, I'm rubbing it down. I'm doing just a little bit at a time to try to get the wrinkles out. And see, it's so much brighter than the rest of this paper that we have on here. And that's another reason I wanted to stress it. Hey, Cynthia. Um, because I want it to look more more yellowish or brownish like this other paper is, okay? Then on the inside of this piece right here, we're going to paint, thank you for all those hearts, we're going to paint um, black. And then on the little ridge, we're going to um, either paint the uh, liquid leaf gold, or rub it up. I haven't decided which yet. And then we're gonna put some gold up around the top of the bottle. And originally I had thought about putting a different topper on this bottle because I like to do that when I make bottles. I like to put different toppers and I frequently order them from Amazon. Um, I'm just going over the top to make sure this is gonna stay down well. But, um, and I brought one to show you uh, what I'm talking about. This is one, this, I don't think this is from Amazon, but this is a topper that I could put in here. I could decorate it and put it in here and it would be fine. I mean, it would just give it that much more height, but I like the top that goes on it because it's got these little indentations that I've already started doing in black and white stripe. And then I thought we would do gold around here. And then right here, I painted it white, but I believe you might be able to put a butter candle in there. If not, you could definitely put a taper candle and just melt some wax first. <clears throat> okay, Barbara's greeting everyone. Thank you, Barbara, for doing that. So let me just tap this down a little bit because there are just a few wrinkles and I'm not gonna sweat it at all. But while I've got some Mod Podge on this brush, and while it's still kind of damp, I can tap, tap, tap it down and then we'll put the other one on. Y'all, this um, thing I got on, let me show you. This is a jump, a little jumpsuit. And I got it from Timu, isn't it the cutest thing? I was really nervous about getting clothes from Timu because I thought, hmm, I don't know how, how well they're gonna do. And I'm, I'm not, well, I'm not crazy about some of the t-shirts I ordered. I like the t-shirt and what it says, but most of the t-shirts I've gotten are made out of um, almost like a polyester. I don't like that. So, um, and I will tell you that on the t-shirts especially, I sized way up because I like them big. So um, don't, most things you don't wanna get your regular size from Timu. You probably want to, um, unless you're just super tiny built, you'll probably want to size up. At least one size. But if you're like me and you like t-shirts, you know, big and comfy, then, you know, you may want to even go a little bit more than just one size up. But anyway, this is so comfortable. And I put it on today, y'all, because I thought when we left there um, that we were going to go back by Jacksonville. And so we were going to try to have dinner with Jen from Home Sweet Create. So I thought, oh, I'm going to see my sister Jen. I'm going to put on something cute. Hey, girl, Stinson, how are you? I'm going to put on something cute, get my makeup on, and then, um, you know, when we get to Jacksonville, we can go out to dinner with Jen. Well, then Ronnie got a call, but he really needed to come to Miami. So that didn't happen, but I can tell you this was very comfortable traveling in. Okay, y'all, so. Here we go. See the background of this has the Harlequin. 
Now we've got this Harlequin on here. So now while that's drying, I want to go on and paint um, inside this rim with black. Okay, y'all. Thank you, Cynthia. I gotta tell y'all the coolest story. If you were on my live last night, you probably know it. Was I on last night? I don't know. Anyway, yesterday, Ronnie and I were heading from where were we doing the night before? I can't keep up with it anymore, y'all. We were heading to, can y'all hold on one second while I grab my glasses so that I can see this fine line where I'm fixing to paint. I meant to grab them earlier and Forgot. Um, bad me. Okay, I got it. So anyway, we were going from where we had been and slowly making our way to Tampa because last night we were going to stop on the way and have dinner with Veronica, who's one of our followers on here. She's usually on. And um, we were going to be passing right by her house. I'm just using um, Deco Art Americana Lamp Black. Okay. So, um, we stopped in Brunswick, Georgia. Now, to my knowledge, I've never been to Brunswick, Georgia. I know this is kind of hard for y'all to see. I'm sorry. Um, but we stopped there at a Winn-Dixie because when I was doing my live yesterday morning, I did go live yesterday, and remember when I was putting the tissue on this bottle, and Jan was on here, and she suggested that I try sometime using wadded up paper sacks. She said she had done that and got a real cool leather look. Well, I have another bottle with me, and I had already put the um, already put the um, tissue on, so I took it off. Y'all have a good night. You too, Tammy. Get your kiddos ready for bed. Good. Thank you, friend. Um, and so, anyway, I thought, you know what? That's a great idea. And I could be wrinkling up paper stacks while we're driving down the road. So I told Rodney, I said, we need to get off the interstate and find um, a Dollar Tree so I can get some paper stacks. So we got off the interstate and we saw a Winn-Dixie. So I said, okay, just run over there to Winn-Dixie. They'll have, you know, packs of lunch sacks. So he did. And I got out of the car and went in first. And then he came in and we did our shopping. And while he was paying, I went on out to the car. And I was carrying some of the groceries with me. And when I walked out, to my right about, I don't know, I'm not good at judging measurement, but I'm, let's just say 15, 20 feet away from me. There was a woman kind of pointing at me and waving and smiling. And I thought, okay, um, what am I, what am I gonna do? So I just kind of slowed down my pace of walking and um, she got caught up with me, and when she did, she said, I'm one of your followers. And I went, what? And she goes, weren't you just in Savannah, Georgia, yesterday? And I went, yeah, or today, and I went, yes. And she goes, yeah, I'm one of your followers. I'm Carol Stinson. Y'all, you could have knocked me over with a freaking feather. She has been with us, I think, from the time we started our page. And it just shocked me to death in a good way. I was just like, oh my word, who would have ever thought that in a town like Brunswick, Georgia, which I'd never been to, at a Winn-Dixie, no less, that I would run into somebody who was one of my followers. It was so fun. So much fun. And so I said, come on, let's get our picture made. She goes, no, no, I don't look good today. I said, you look great today. So we took a picture and she said to me, she said, I saw Rodney. She called him my name. She said, I saw Rodney walking in and I thought to myself, that looks like Rodney. But she said, I wasn't positive. And so I didn't want to just, you know, go up and say something to him. 
And she said, then I saw you come out and I said, oh yeah, that's Lisa. And so, y'all, it was so much fun. It just made our day. So anyway, you just never know when you may be somewhere and run into somebody who recognizes you from something. And it's just the coolest experience. And again, I say, that wouldn't have happened had I not gotten involved with the crafting community, you know? You have a friend in Brunswick too? I know it's cool, Cynthia, isn't it? It was so neat. I really was taken aback. It was so cool. And you know, you see people's names on lives. And I've seen Carol on, you know, other people's lives too, so her name was super familiar to me. Um, but to, to be able to put a face with a name and say, of course I know who you are, was just the coolest thing, y'all. I loved it. And so then we drove on down to Altamont Springs and we met Veronica at um, the Olive Garden, or as my friend calls it, the Garden of Olives, um, for dinner. And, you know, Brunk and I talked on the phone, but we never met face to face. And um, so that was just, I mean, it was super fun. That just makes it all worth it for me. Okay, so I think that looks really good outlined in black. Now what I wanna do I want to take some rub and buff and I want to go around this braided part right here. See, it's a little raised trim. Can y'all see that? I need to keep an eye on my time too so I don't go over. I forgot to tell you, there's a dog tree right across from Winn Dixie. Thought about it, time I pulled off. Well, you know what? I figured, I think I paid two. 249 or 289 or something for those in uh, Winn Dixie, and I wouldn't have paid you know too much less at the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I put a little bit of the gold rubbing buff on my finger. I rubbed some of it off on the paper towel below me because I don't want a big blob, and then I'm just rubbing this raised area right here with the gold. And before I put any more from the tube on my finger, I'm going to go back to what's on my paper towel because it's still wet and add some more and I'll hold it up in just a minute to show you now if I decide after this that you know I think I really want it brighter then I can either add more rubbing buff or I can use my liquid leaf I also have a gold metallic pen um, marker and I thought what I might do um, what I might do Oh, I know the lighting is terrible. Um, around the sides of each black line is to draw with my marker a gold line. Okay, you know what? I'm not sure that's enough. So let's let that sit for a minute. I'm going to get the liquid leaf open because I know I want to use it um, around the top. Um, but I suspect... I'm gonna come back and use it um, where I had that, where I just did that rubbing book. I don't think it's dark enough. Now, this stuff right here, y'all, smells so strong. If you've never used it, I don't really wanna mess up a good brush. Um, get ready, because it's strong. But it's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Thank you, Elizabeth. Um, and this stuff usually does not travel well. This time I got smart and I wrapped the container real tight, made sure the top was on really tight, which I always do, but inevitably, especially if we fly somewhere, it leaks. I don't know if it's the change in air pressure or what, but it will leak every single time we fly. So this time I screwed it on the top on real tightly and then I wrapped it up real tightly in um, aluminum foil and then I put the aluminum foil down in a, a Ziploc baggie and closed it well. So I was determined not to spill this and it didn't. It, this time it actually stayed good so I was shocked. 
when I opened it up tonight and took it out and it was like, well, look at there. It actually stayed good. So yeah, I think I like this bright gold a lot better than I do the rub and buff. Y'all can see that, can't you? Um, and I'm even gonna bring it down on this little lip around the edge right here too, and then right up here at the top. And you know what, I may, I may put this gold leaf on the inside of uh, the top for this too, where I, you won't really be able to see it if there's a votive candle in there or something, but just be cool to do it. So that was our excitement yesterday. We hadn't really had a lot of excitement today other than driving to, oops, I just got that on my paper, driving to uh, Miami, getting in traffic lots of different places. Also, be careful when you use this stuff, you don't get too much on your brush because it's very liquidy and it will drip all over everything if you're not careful. Y'all know I love texture, so that's why I put the, um, tissue paper, the wadded up tissue paper on first because I wanted the texture on the bottle. And um, then after I got the tissue paper on, I painted it um, with the chalk paint. Um, it's not a stark point, I think it's called ivory. Um, because I did not first use slick stick or anything on it and being a bottle, I was afraid it wasn't gonna hold any paint or decoupage medium or anything and I didn't have my slick stick with me so I started to not even do it. I thought no this isn't going to hold anything but I thought well maybe the chalk paint if I put a couple of coats on will work and it did and then of course I was going to be decoupaging over it anyway so no worries. So we haven't even had dinner. What did y'all have for dinner tonight? Is there a laundry? No, it's a Jim Beam whiskey bottle. I bought several of these at an auction recently. And I'm gonna actually sell some of them. They're collector's bottles, so they all have some kind of design on them. And uh, I had somebody ask me about it yesterday, so I am gonna sell some of them. Um, I'm gonna get in touch with her when I get home and tell her. I don't know if I can. I don't think I can tilt this. Let me see if I can turn the camera and hold it under here so y'all can see it better. Probably not. Nah, I don't think that's any better. Sorry about this, y'all. The gold leaf is beautiful. It is beautiful. So let's see if I can be real careful and go around this little braided area right here and see how that's gonna do. I think I'm gonna like the gold leaf a lot better. You can't see the pattern of this little design quite as well with the liquid leaf on it, but you still can see a pattern. And I was tickled that just putting two or three layers of the um, tissue paper on there covered up the imprint or the impression that was made into this glass of the deer. I really didn't want that showing. I thought, am I going to have to really press this paper down in there and let the deer show anyway? So, um, another thought that just came to me since I've got my gold marker with me is I may also go inside this little where I just painted black in here. Hold on, let me pick it up. Where I just painted black in here, I may take my marker and go around the inside of that with the gold too. You know, sometimes you just have to start working on stuff and see what happens. Because usually, you know, you'll look at it and you'll know what you're supposed to be doing to it. But it's it's hard to, nest, to always know ahead of time what you're going to be doing with it. So, who on here is going to the sparkle retreat next week? Anybody? I'm so sad that I can't go this year. They had to change the date of it um, because the Omni didn't have space for them to have it the same weekend that they had it last year. And I went last year. Um, and when they moved it, 
um, most of y'all know we're with a camping group and um, there's my finger sticking in the liquid go. Um, and it's our last camping trip and Rodney and I are, are um, hosting. Thank you, Cindy. Okay, Carol. Yeah, Barbara. Okay, so what I need y'all to do, if you will, is send me, um, instead of sending it on Messenger, because I'm afraid it'll get lost, send me an email, if you will, um, to craftandcruise at gmail.com. Spell out the word and. Um, and that way I'll have it in my email and I can contact all of y'all. I was gonna take pictures um, of the ones I have. I think I have two of one design and then the rest of them are all individual designs. If you also don't know this about liquid leaf, um, when you get ready to clean your brush, you need to clean it first in some kind of oil. See how this is looking? Um, the oil will cut through um, the liquid leaf because the liquid leaf is not water-based, it's oil-based. So it doesn't matter if it's vegetable oil, um, you know, Wesson oil, um, what you call it, what's that other kind of oil everybody? Olive oil, doesn't matter. You could even, for that matter, use melted butter if you wanted to. So um, it's got an additional rim around here that I think I'm gonna extend this gold out to. So let's do that. And then I may, it may be dry enough to where I can um, actually antique it for y'all on the sides. I'm not gonna antique the front. I don't think I am anyway, unless I antique these sides and feel like it needs it. Ronnie was really hoping he was gonna get back in time to say hi to y'all and to read comments for me. So this must have turned into a more difficult job than he was expecting. Of course, he didn't even get started on it until 5.30 or so. <clears throat> my uh, oldest daughter and her youngest daughter left today um, for Connecticut. Um, the youngest granddaughter has made some friends online through, I don't know, through gaming and then through Taylor Swift or something. I can't remember. Can y'all see anything I'm doing? Um, and so, the girls there are twins. And they really had wanted to come down here on their fall break or come to Nashville. And, um, but they don't have the very same fall break that my granddaughter does. So um, my daughter decided to take her daughter and go up there. Now the girls knew they were coming, but they didn't think they were coming until Saturday. And so, um, Jana and Macy surprised them today with their mom and picked them up at school. And then my other daughter and her two are on fall break and um, they went to the zoo today. I saw pictures posted. Um, so they were hoping to come down and see us and we were gonna be gone. So um, then I was hoping they could come to Gatlinburg maybe and see us part of the time, but I don't think that's gonna work either. Whew, I got that kind of close. Okay, yeah, I like that better because it's wider, okay? So here we go with this. And then here's the back. And I got some liquid gold from my fingers on the white of the paper, the tissue paper, but that's okay. Thank you, Cindy. Um, okay, so I'll put this up until I can get it screwed on better. Oh, there it goes. Okay, now, oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna do the inside of the top, wasn't I? Yes, I was gonna put a little bit around the rim. Let's move this out of the way so y'all can maybe see. I think I got 
much too close again. Okay. If I can open it back up. <laughs> yeah, I want to put some around the rim here of this. And um, then if I do the stripes, outline the stripes, I think I'll do it with my gold marker because I'm too afraid of what it'll look like if I try to do it with the paintbrush. My lines will probably go everywhere. And being kind of a perfectionist, which I'm not bragging about, I'm just, I'm like, I mean, some people call it anal. I'm not real sure what that even means, but, or why that is a term, but um, I just like it done right. Okay, so then let's put some up here around the rim. Now this this top was um, is kind of broken in a couple of places or cracked. Doesn't bother me at all. In fact, y'all, I gotta tell you this. This is so funny to me. We also got um, some old bottles that. Okay, so the the sale the the auction that we bid on. My brother-in-law also was bidding on some stuff, as was a friend of his. Well, he told the friend that he would pick his stuff up when he picked ours up. And um, so he took his trailer and picked this guy's stuff up. Well, this sale now, when you went to this sale, you were walking in a barn. It, you could not hardly move in there at all. There was no light. There was no air conditioning, no electricity at all. And there were shelves upon shelves upon shelves of just box, 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 box full of junk. Thank you, Shirley. Um, I mean, junk, y'all. And if you wanted to take the time to open the boxes, you could, and you could look in there. And then they had boxes sitting on the floor, and some of it was like big equipment. And I mean, any and probably anything you could imagine that was old, they had in some kind of box. Well, what you did was you bid on a shelf, which meant if you won the bid for that shelf, then everything on that shelf in those boxes came to you. And apparently a lot of people, when they would go pick up their stuff, would just then, when, if they won the bid, they would sit there and sift through what was in the boxes and put in the dumpster what they didn't want because there was a dumpster sitting there. Well, this guy, had bought these boxes that my brother-in-law picked up. And inside of one of those um, boxes were a bunch of little bottles and, and bigger bottles. Some of them you could tell were like old beer bottles. And there was a couple that Rodney said to him looked like maybe a, um, Dr. Pepper, an old Dr. Pepper bottle or whatever. Hey, sweet sister Beth, love you. I'm gonna miss you next week. Um, then they had some little bottles, y'all, that looked like um, ink wells. They were clear bottles, but they inside they had this little slanted piece of glass that would look like maybe you put your pen in. It, they were really, really cool, really cool. And um, so anyway, um, the guy told my brother-in-law, he said, I don't, I don't want all this stuff. You can, you know, this junk, you can just get rid of. So Craig thought I might be interested in it for crafting. So when Rodney went to pick up our stuff from him, he brought those bottles home. And y'all, they were, there is no telling how long some of those bottles had been in those boxes. They were so dirty. And Rod, so I, I put them in the, I was putting them in the dishwasher to wash them. But of course, I'm not gonna paint them or do anything with them like that. And Ronnie's going, why are you doing that? Why are you, why are you washing those? And I said, why wouldn't I wash them? And he goes, because they may be worth something. I said, do you think they're going to be worth, the dirt's going to be worth something? And he said, well, I'll tell you one thing. I'd be looking on eBay or some of those places to see if I could find some of these to see what they're worth. And I said, well, honey, if you want to take the time to do that, you go right ahead. But I'm going to tell you right now, nobody's going to want the dirt that was in them. And he just really felt like I was I was abusing. See how I put the gold in there, the liquid leaf? That I was just abusing the value of those bottles by putting them in the dishwasher, heaven forbid. Hey, 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 living a heartful life, how are you? Um, so, I 
put it in the dishwasher anyway. I said, if you want to look any of them up, you go right ahead, be my guest. But um, I'm not going to do anything with them until I clean them. I'm just going to take them right now. So, okay, let me put this back on. And then, let me also get another paper towel so I can wipe some of this bare wax off once we get it on here. So I guess tomorrow we'll start a long trek back to Tennessee. I think it's, if we drove straight, it's like 13 and a half hours. We won't get there in one day. Okay, so I'm just taking this, I don't know what kind of brush you call this. I only use this for my bare wax, and you can tell I like it because it's about empty. And then I'm just going to pat it on here, just on this paper that has the Harlequin because I don't like the white. I don't think it goes with um, the paper that I put on the front and back. So I'm just gonna pat it on here and then I'm gonna wipe it back down. Try not to get it over there on that gold, okay? So, take my paper towel now and rub it back already looking better to me. I love this tissue paper and I don't even know where I got it. Um, and at first I wasn't going to use it because I thought that Harlequin is so big compared to the Harlequin on the napkin. You can see I need to glue it down a little more um, down here at the bottom. But then I thought, you know, it's different. It's something different. And I like different. I like to do things different. So see, here it is not covered. See how white? And here it is antiqued. Don't you think that goes better with what's on the front and what's on the back? I do. You know what would even be cool to do? What's that say? Denture cleaner tablets work well to clean old body. Really? Well, that's interesting. Very interesting. Thank you for telling me. Um, if they don't come clean in the dishwasher, then I'll try that for sure. I would never think of that. Um, what was I going to say? Something else was I got this bottle. Mm -hmm. Now I don't remember, y'all. It's been longer than two seconds. I can't remember. That's terrible, but it's really not funny. Sometimes it scares me. Beth Ann, if you're still on here, you need to go back and watch the beginning. I think Carol Stinson followed your page. And I, I saw, met her yesterday, quite accidentally, at a Winn-Dixie grocery store in Brunswick, Georgia. And I told the story on this live. So, um, now I was thinking at some point that I might put... I might put um, a piece of Totally Dazzled on here, but I'm not sure I want to. I, thought, I don't think that it really necessarily calls for bling, do y'all? Let me see if I can try to turn it toward the light so you can see it a little bit better. I'm so sorry, y'all. I love Carol. Back then, that was the craziest thing. You've got to read it. It was so crazy. Okay, so then, now I'm feeling like that I also need to put some on here because this is so white. So, I put some on these little white pieces around here. And it doesn't matter if I go over the black because I'm going to be rubbing, rubbing it off anyway. But um, I think to distress this would be good. And then I just don't think the top is going to need anything else and I really don't I have some totally dazzled with me but I just don't think it really calls for totally dazzled. What do y'all think? Y'all think I should put a piece of bling on here or not? And if so where do you think I should put it? Thank you, Shirley Ann. Are you Shirley Ann or just Shirley? And you spell Ann like I do. I'm Lisa Ann. Spell it with the E. Or I should say my mom spells it with an E. 
So bling or no bling, you guys? What do you think? Bling or no bling? That is the question. I like it without bling. Okay. Tell me what your first name is, please. I know I've heard it. Living a heart full life. I love your crafts. You do some of the coolest, like, fake, fake things. And your paintings. Because painting is really my passion. Watercolor especially. That's my that's my jam, so I need to start doing some more. I'm about to have watercolor paper with me. Just in case I got in the mood. But see, now this looks better already to me too because it's going to match the bottle better. Oh, this light is going to be the death of me. Alright, so let's see. Like I said, I could do something to this if I decided I wanted to kind of you know, have it look a little, let me move it back a little different. I could always do that. Oh, resin, I forgot about resining the middle. Yes, we talked about doing that. I won't do it on the trip because I don't have resin with me and I'm not gonna buy any. Um, but when I get home, I definitely, I definitely want to resin it. I'm so glad you said that. I hope I don't forget it when I get home. But anyway, I think that putting this one on, screwing it down, get that out of the way before I set my arm in it, and then, um, only other thing I'm trying to think is if I want to put a gold stripe, what does that say, oh, good, 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 okay, y'all make sure you refresh your page, um, I may put, use that gold marker I was talking about, and put a stripe down each side of this. I don't know, I'm scared to do it. No, I shouldn't say I'm scared, but if I do it with paint, I'll probably mess it up. There's actually a little ridge right here too um, that goes right where that white paper goes. But I think if I do it with the marker, it'll differentiate better between what's on the sides and the back. So I might do that, especially if I go back and outline the black parts of this bottle at the top. So, can y'all think, hey, Rebecca, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Um, I hope you'll put in the comments, exclamation point, new, N-E-W, in lowercase letters. And then um, also if you'll put in the comments, exclamation point, telegram, um, it will take you to, it'll bring up a message for you with a link that you can join my Telegram channel so you'll know when we're going live. So, um, you guys, tomorrow we are going to be driving, I'm sure, all day. Like I said, we won't get home tomorrow. I can't, I mean, 13 and a half hours without stopping. Um, well, First of all, we can't go that long without stopping anyway, but I'm thinking it's going to be more like probably 15 or 16 hours total. So, tomorrow I'm not going to be on um, because we will be traveling. I might try to work on a couple of fast videos while I've got my little lap tray in my lap. Um, I have started working. I've done some more ATC cards, and today I did my first ever... And I learned this from Debbie Rigg and Carol Culver. My first ever domino necklace. I don't have the little, um, whatever you call it at the top to put the chain through yet. I've got it laying over there. But I used diamond glaze on it that um, Carol and Debbie told us about. I can't even pull this light over. Anyway, can you see, I think if I turn it just right, you can see the shine from the diamond glaze. Um, so I still have to diamond glaze the back, but you can actually go online on Etsy and put in domino papers, and there are people who are printing papers the size of dominoes for the necklaces. Isn't that awesome? Just like you look up ATC cards, then you can do that with the domino necklaces. So. Um, and I've got some jewels to hang from the bottom of each one. So, anyway.
anyway, um, other than taking the gold and outlining the black hair and then maybe putting an outline stripe down each one of these, and then when I get home, putting resin in here, um, I will take, in fact, I'll do that right now. I've got my, I've got just a couple of minutes. I've got my gloss medium varnish by Liquitex. So I'm gonna put a little bit, oops. I oh, can't do that, I'll take the top off. I wanna go over the inside of this black just to um, make it not be so dull. And guess who just walked in at the end of the line? Rodney Siler. Rodney Siler. Come over here and say hi because people are going to want to see you. <clears throat> they want to see your pretty face. Mm -hmm. Pretty face is pretty nasty and dirty right now. Hello, everybody. <laughs> just got off the top of a big old water here. Okay, y'all. So make sure you refresh your page and watch the next crafter living a heart full of life. She's delightful. You will love her. And make sure that you are following Craft Around the Clock and following Crafting and Cruising. See, that looks better already. Just putting a little shine on that. Okay. And um, I will see you guys. I'll be doing something on maybe Saturday. Sunday, I'm in an event. I think it's Sunday with the Crafty Bunch. I'm not sure, but I think it's Sunday. So um, I'll talk to y'all soon. Next week will be camping, so I'll be going live from there some. But I appreciate you all coming on and being supportive. Maybe tomorrow I can do my public service announcement. Oh, yeah. I remember Ronnie's going to do a public service announcement. It's really going to be cute. Thank you. Okay, we'll talk to you guys later. Love you. Bye.